Okay, so we have 36, and then we have one more, and that's it. Why don't you want to do it? Ask Kara. Because I'm wrong for F. I will make a mess of F. I can't believe they even want me to try. Any fool can see I will be horrible at it. I don't know who's talking there. I think it may be uh, the Griffon, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't remember who that was. So, you know, different people display great skill at different things because different people choose to develop their skills at different things which are the things that they like. Um, nonetheless, your perception can still make a difference. The, this character hasn't begun to do it and they want him to do it. And even before he does it, he's already pessimistic and saying, oh no, I'm not good at that, I shouldn't be doing that. I'm not the one that you should call to do that. It is a truth that we, some of us, are going to be better at doing certain things than others. And some of us will have more ease to become masters at those things than others. But everyone can at least learn the basic, basic stuff for anything, I think. We, we all have the potential to, to learn the very basics for anything. Obviously, there are gonna be people that will have more potential than you to become masters at that. Or if you're one of those people, then you will be the one that will have more potential to become master at that. But even if you don't have the even if you don't have it in your nature to become a master at that, even you can learn the basics of that. And, and I, I know this very clearly from my experience, from my personal life, because I remember that when I was younger, I wasn't that good at sports, but I got into it and I practiced a lot. And obviously I'm never going to be Michael Jordan, never going to be the you know, the, the, the best, or, or not the best, but, but even a triple-A triple A level in baseball, <laughs> triple-A level at any sport, I won't be that great. But I can be pretty good at any sport that I train myself in for a long enough time with conscious training. And I have already done it for a few sports, for uh, racquetball, for tennis. I began to do it for volleyball as well. And I have realized that I can do it for any other. And, uh, you know, like, obviously, I'm not gonna be wonderful at that because I, I always had more ability for academic stuff. But I realized that it, it doesn't matter. I, even I can get good at those things. I'm not going to be a master where I can get good at them. Um, and the same goes for any person. You, anyone, can get at least to an okay level at anything. And then you have to figure out what you can be a master at so that you can become a master at that thing which you're incredibly good at. So that's the way it is. But never think, oh no, I cannot do that. Or I cannot learn that. Even if it is not what you're meant to do, we will have the ability to learn anything at least at a basic level. At least. Okay, the last one. 37. Think carefully before you accept this boon. It will add many years to your life, which can be a blessing or a burden, depending on how you spend them. Years in your life, or 
you know, time spans, even moments in your life can be uh, blessings is if you spend them doing something that, that you like doing, which can be either work that you enjoy working on or activities that you like doing like, like a hobby. Or all that could be the opposite. If you spend your time, could be a moment or moments or days or weeks or many years doing a work that you don't like working on and with hobbies that you don't even care about, well, you're not going to be happy then. So, so what matters is not the number of years, but what you do with those years. The quality of how you live those years. So what really matters is, you know, working on, on something that you like working on. Doesn't matter if it is difficult. What matters is not the difficulty. It can be super difficult, but if you still like doing it, even though it is very difficult, then it is the right thing for you. And um, the same thing for hobbies. Doesn't matter if the hobby is easy or difficult. If it is a hobby that you like, it's the right thing for you. So if you spend your time, the time of your life, with such things that you like, even if they're difficult, doesn't matter, you are spending your time well. You're spending your time in things that give you more happiness. So your time is happier and better. And a happy time or time that gives you more fulfillment because you like what you're doing is time well spent or better spent than time which is spent on things that don't really matter to you or that you don't like doing or, or work that doesn't really interest you at all that doesn't really, really use the, the skills, the strong skills that you really have. So that's it. What matters is the, the, the quality of what you do with your time, liking what you do with your time, more than all the time that you have. Because if you have all the time in the world, but you're not doing things that you want, you're not uh, fulfilling you know, your potential with hobbies that you like, with, with work that is good for you and that you like, then you're not happy. So that time is, is not worth it. It's not well spent. And that's going to be it for my... this philosophical discussion, uh, not based on what you sing, Song of the Wanderer, which is one of the two books in this Unicorn Chronicles book. I recommend you check it out and read it, by the way. I enjoyed reading this book. Um, so I did this philosophical discussion using the ideas that I got from this book, basically, from the second one, from Song of the Wanderer. I'm gonna do the same for the others. I think next time I'm going to, you know, if I get many ideas like this time, there were too many of them, I'm going to cut it down, cut it down to the top 15, the 15 that I feel are going to teach anyone that listens to me the most. So those will be the ones that I will discuss then. And I always get something, some really good idea from any book that I read. So this is going to be an extra for, it is an extra for me. I always get it anytime I read a book. And it is going to be an extra for anyone that reads the, the same books that I'm reading in, in my book club. And that then checks out what I discussed both for the plot, which I do that in the other video. I already did it for this one in the other video. Uh, which was a plot discussion and then if, if there is anyone that has more curiosity you should always look for any philosophical discussion that I do.
I believe that these are going to be the most interesting discussions that I will do and I'm just getting started because it's just the second one so the third one, the one for next month is going to be about this the third book in the Unicorn Chronicles and I can predict and I can already see, not just predict right, I'm already seeing it from now on that this third one the discussion for the plot and the philosophical discussion both of them are going to be better because I already read the first, first few chapters of the book and I'm liking it a lot I am liking Dark Whispers even more than Song of the Wonder so the, this, this series is it's pretty good for discussion so I, I'm very glad that I chose it first this is how I, I decided to begin this so so we'll see, we'll see where it takes me we're gonna see what I learned from the other book I will continue learning something from anything that I read and from anything that I do and hopefully you will be able to learn something from me as well hopefully, because I, I do enjoy you know, teaching from, from my ideas and from what I already know so I will continue doing it for fun and to do interesting stuff with my time